Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Savannah Smiles. So this is part two of my 10K subscriber Q&A. Part one will be in the description and you can go and give that a watch, but it's not really relevant to this video except for this next little bit that I had said in the last one that I loved the questions so much and I couldn't cut any of them out. So I had to break it into two parts. So this is going to be the second part. So I hope you guys enjoy. And if you aren't part of my 10.8 thousand subscribers and you wanna join, be sure to subscribe to the smash button and smash the YouTube algorithm for the like button. And comment down below, let me know if you just did it. I will give you like a little like, you know, clapping emoji. So the video will be starting now. Alessio Barrera, 2157, wrote, Do you remember me? I'm Super Mario Logan from YouTube. You heard my comment. I do. I thought your username was funny, so I actually do remember. Jacob Taylor Real wrote, Do you ever feel awkward on camera? I would say it takes me a while to actually warm up in front of the camera. I usually sit down in front of the camera before hitting record for probably about like 15 to 20 seconds just so that way I can start to feel comfortable but yes frequently I feel very awkward in camera because if you go back and watch my thousand subscriber video which I'll put a little clip of it right here does this put me in frame all right hi guys um, so today I was going to go film a different video Graham's ah. all right we can do this I can do this you notice I'm wearing the same outfit from this video as a different video or versus now. You can tell that I feel a lot more comfortable talking to a camera, but I still do feel a little awkward. And it's definitely really awkward when like whenever somebody walks in the room just instantly, I'm like, uh, hi. It is getting better, but I definitely do still feel awkward. Hi. Hey, am I interrupting? And no, you're fine. It's just funny because I it was just like, do you feel awkward on camera? I'm like, yeah, when grammar somebody walks in the room, I just feel like, ooh. And then yeah, you come in. That's my cue. That is your cue. Okay, this next one from Fazidori is um, goals you want to reach this year. Um, hit 10K subscribers. So ah, there we did it. For serious though, I want to keep venturing through with this and see where it goes. I want to get to a point too where I increase my income. Every year it seems like I've increased my income. This is obviously part of it it's because I'm young too. And I wanna really, really just explore and grow this and keep enjoying it and keep doing it as long as I'm enjoying it. I don't wanna ever have this be like a forced thing that I'm just like, oh, I gotta film a video. Cause I actually do have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, Cosmic Latte 5 wrote, are you guys planning a meet and greet over coffee? Only if it's at a Starbucks. T Clarkson wrote, do you ever feel pressure to be more, even more frugal than you normally are because of Graham? I don't feel pressure from Graham per se to be more frugal, but I definitely feel it from sometimes I have to like hide if I bought something new from like my social medias because I feel a little bit more like, oh gosh, like there's gonna be comments and it's so silly because I know like 99% of them are teasing me and it's not meant to be taken seriously, but sometimes I feel a little bit like, oh, I just got a new pair of shoes and they made be from Ross, they may be only five dollars, but they don't look like they're five dollars. And so I feel a little bit like I don't want to tell people I bought this, but I know it's not coming from a malicious place. It's just something I gotta get over. What is slash was your most what is slash was your most rewarding experience on YouTube? I would say my most rewarding experience has been um Gosh, let me think. I would say the Andre video, which was the first reaction video I edited. I edited the whole thing by myself and then showed Graham when it was done just to make sure he was okay with all the comments and whatever he said being in there. Editing, doing that whole thing, tags. Graham did help me a little bit with the thumbnail, but doing that whole thing by myself and then having it take off was really, really exciting. That was the first one that like, I was like, oh, Wow, like I actually did a good job on this. It seems like people really liked it, so I was pretty excited. Slicky2M wrote, how did you and Graham meet? Has your spending changed since you guys met? Yeah, I would say I'm spending more because he just did not have a lot of stuff when I met him. For example, one, 
I first started dating him, he did not have any cutting boards, he did not have any knives to cut things with. Currently, we still don't even have steak knives, we just have butter knives and like big, you know, chopping knives. So I would say my spending got worse because I was trying to make his place feel more homey to me. SML Archery wrote, when G gets you a ring, are you a big ring or a small ring gal? Oh, I am definitely a small ring gal. I'd much rather have that money go towards making the honeymoon nicer or getting a new couch or something for the house rather than something that I'm only gonna wear for a year. So I don't really believe in spending all that much on an engagement ring. It doesn't really make sense to me. Forever Disney wrote, your feelings on starting a new YouTube channel, how to get your first video up. So um, right now I'm not starting a new YouTube channel, but I'm assuming that this person's talking about for them. To get your first video up, you're probably gonna spend about two weeks editing it because that's what it took me. You just gotta keep pushing through it and give yourself a goal of like, I have to get 10 videos done because if you can get 10 videos done, typically you'll stick with it. Find what you love and if it makes you happy, I'm sure you'll get an audience because people seem to really enjoy that. Oi Fabi wrote, I love you so much, you are so gorgeous. Thank you. What are five healthy habits you would recommend? Um, I would say, especially like during this time, I would say eating good is definitely one of them. Keeping yourself on a schedule. Sleep, oh my goodness, sleep. Take time, whether it's doing a face mask once a week or you know shaving your legs, take time, take an hour or two a week, just to spend it on yourself and oh, spoopies. What do you do to take care of yourself, huh? You look so fat right now, too. Anyways, I would take one to two hours a week just to really take care of yourself. And yeah, I, I need a fifth one. Um, and five, I would try to make sure to remember to go outside even if it's just hanging out in your backyard for a little bit and let yourself get connected into nature. Maybe try going for a run or something that makes you feel more connected and grounded. Okay, we're gonna go to the second one now because this is getting really long. GBT Davis 1023 wrote, how do Instagram payouts compare to YouTube? So Instagram does not pay you. I currently just have my Instagram because I have fun with it. I don't get paid from Instagram or if some people do, it's certainly not me. So I make a lot more money on YouTube because I don't make anything on Instagram, so. K Schmidt 28 wrote, which one of your vids is your favorite video so far? Um, gosh, I would have to say, let me look onto my videos. Oh gosh, this is a really hard one for me. I would say that the one currently that is my favorite is the why I spend so much on groceries because that was one that was completely by myself. Um, previously, it's been hard not to feel like people are are only interested in me because of Graham or because Graham's in a video. So it was really cool to see a video that was just me take off without any mention of Graham. So I would say that one is a favorite for that reason. Another one that's one of my favorites would probably be the, um, I would say the Tesla Model 3 road trip to Big Bear was one of my favorites. I had so much fun with Graham filming that one. It was a lot of fun to edit. It definitely is not my best video. I have, edited way better videos since, but I love that video because it just was so much fun to do. Billa L wrote, how old is Ramsey? Ramsey is currently about a year old. We don't exactly know how old he is because he was found as a stray. Graham got Ramsey and I at the same time and his life has never been the same since. Uh, the Askadone, I did not say that right, said go through your portfolio. If you guys want to see that, I can do a video covering it. Just let me know down below if that's something you guys would be interested in. I kind of scripted this out before, but I didn't think anyone was gonna be interested in it. What advice would you give to your younger self and people who want to start their own YouTube channel? To my younger self, I would say to stop being so scared. I wanted to do this two and a half years ago. And for anyone else that's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would say the same thing. Don't be scared and go for it. Film your first video, even if it's off of your iPhone in a darkly lit room with you know, no topic. Once you put out the first one, it's so much easier to put out your next one and your next one, your next one. It keeps getting easier and better. Oh, Maya Sup wrote, biggest pet peeve on Graham. Okay, you guys know the 20 cent iced coffee. Did you know he leaves them everywhere around the house? Worse than his flosser habit, which he leaves those in his pants, he leaves coffee around the house. And Ramsey can't have coffee, so I'm constantly picking up these coffees all over the house. I went into his office the other day and there was a coffee who had been sitting there, 
just barely above being empty for three days. Besides that, everything's good though. Justin Funeral wrote, now how much have you made off of AdSense so far? So this will only show through Saturday and this last Saturday was not a good day for me. It'd be showing April 14th through the 24th because it still has to post for yesterday. About 10 days. I have made $269.82 off of YouTube so far. King Colby wrote, why do you still work a nine to five? I think my last question answers this. It's been 10 days and I've made less than $300. While I, I probably could figure out a way to live off of that, I don't want to and I'd much rather keep working both because I can handle it and be saving more money. Mandy Kella wrote, dream car. My dream car is the 1965 Porsche Roadster or the 1965 Porsche Speedster. Additionally, I like the 1967 Mustangs, but nothing in my mind beats the 1965 Porsche Roadster. All right, so there was a lot of questions I couldn't get to because there was so many on here. If you guys want to possibly get your question submitted in a future Q&A and I haven't already answered it, go subscribe to my Instagram on unofficialgg. And don't forget to smash the YouTube algorithm for the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the smash button and Graham! Yeah? Do you want to let him know about Weeble? Did you not tell them about Weeble yet? You didn't tell them yet about Weeble? Guys, okay. So if you have not, sorry, I kind of hit you. <laughs> right there. Guys, if you haven't already gotten your two free stocks down below in the description, Weeble is going to give you two free stocks when you deposit $100 in the platform with one of the stocks being valued up to how much? $1,400. Yeah, $1,400. Sounds like a lot more than $1,400, so I always say, $1,400. So uh, use that link down below in the description. Uh, uh, Savannah Smiles also has some Amazon links down below in the description. Make sure to, to do that. Make sure to watch the ads and... Um... Yes, so any other links you need to mention? <laughs> no, that's it. All right, so that is all for me and don't forget to 